Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. More games are lost in the NFL than won. Classic, classic example tonight. Blowing a perfectly winnable game. Now... And the horrible officiating didn't help either. There's a lot to unravel in this game, but let's talk about some of the things that went poorly. I mean, they start the freaking game by giving up a long touchdown drive. Defense hasn't done that all year. Defense was bad in this game. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. Then the Patriots offense looked the best they ever been. They marched right down the field and scored. This game's not on the offense. That's not on Mac Jones. No, Mac had a terrific game. Mac was fantastic. Best game of the year for him. Um, awesome. And next drive... Jonathan Jones has a pick six, drops it. That's the second week in a row that he has dropped a pick six. Yep. Yep. Needed that pick six. That probably would have won you the game. Yeah, after all the bullshit. Missed, missed opportunities. More games are lost than one in the NFL. Yep. Next drive, Stevenson has a bad drop. Then Kirk Cousin throws an interception to John Jones. He almost scores a touchdown. Offense does their stupid red zone nonsense and gets a negative play, which causes a field goal. And by the way, the, the call on second down was horrible. That cross thing. It, a double reverse run where you hand off twice behind a broken offensive line. I think outside of that call, the rest of the game was okay. Matt Patricia, man, like, learn how to call offense, please. To be fair, he called a good game other than a couple of questionable things. But his questionable things are so boneheaded. That I just it baffles me. It just baffles me. They get a field goal. It's 10-7. Vikings get held to a field goal. Marcus Jones gets a great kick return to the 50, but of course they waste it with a field goal. It's 13-10. Then the Vikings get a touchdown off of a play that again should off of a drive that shouldn't have been a touchdown because Judon proceeded to go off sides and turned a third and long into a third and manageable. He was not good in this He was game. awful in this game. Not going to lie. He was awful. Vikings missed the extra point. Didn't matter. Not that it mattered, but whatever. It's 16-13. Patriots get a field goal to tie it. But they waste two timeouts there. Um, and the Vikings run the timeout. Yeah, there was two plays here. There was... Um, Hunter Henry doesn't go out of bounds. I have no idea what he's doing. I have no idea what he's doing. It's 50 seconds left. Why don't you run out of bounds? And it's not like he was close. He had 10 yards to run out of bounds. Doesn't yeah, run out of bounds. He was right down the sideline. Then Mac Jones scrambles. Look, Mac had a great game. This was a dumb, dumb play. What are you doing? Throw the ball away. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they have six seconds left. They could have run another play. They didn't have to kick the field goal. They could have run a quick play. And if he wasn't there, immediately you throw it in the end zone. Through, uh, through the end zone. And having no faith in your offense that was playing well. Yeah. I don't yep. get that at all. So it's 16-16 tie. Turns out if you scored a touchdown there, you'd probably win the game. Yep. And then we get to the third quarter, and we get the touchdown to Henry. 23-20. No, this is the one that he actually caught. Yeah, that was a good That was 23-16. We'll There's a second. play action. They basically used play action to go down the field. They finally started using play actions. Oh, of course, though. Then right after that. Then Special give teams up, loses their brains. However, they give up a kick return touchdown. However, there was a the, one of the most obvious blatant holds. The refing in this game was oh my god, horrid. it was horrible. horrible. And it was horrible only in one direction. Horrible. They didn't. I mean, the only makeup call they gave the Patriots was a freaking missed false start. The refing was inexcusable. I mean, there's like five or six calls in this game that were horrible calls. Blatantly not called things. It's just I. Wow, it was really bad. <laughs> it's bad and, when and we it, can see it. And it had a direct impact on the game. Yeah, it's bad when we can see it and call the, it rest. The reason why that was a kick return touchdown was because, I, I think it was Kyle Duggar that it was It was held. Duggar, yes. He was held and, and then pushed to the ground. He was obviously held. Yes. Like, it wasn't close. It wasn't ticky-tacky. It was obvious. Even in live action, it was obvious. Yeah. The dude was turned. I mean, 
I don't know. And, and it wasn't a hold on the other side of the field that had nothing to do with the play. That hold is the reason for the touchdown. Yeah. Yep. But the rest of the players missed tackles. That should have happened anyway on the play. Right. So, it's not good contained anyway, but... A blatant hold is a blatant hold. You, you gotta call that. It was missed. It's missed, and it affected the game. So they tie it up because of that. Get a deep pass to Parker. Then we get the play. That makes no goddamn sense. Uh, there's a touchdown to Henry. It's a clear touchdown. Uh, he catches the ball, reaches for the plane. Uh, they changed the rule so that if you reach over the plane, the play's dead. That's literally the new rule because of the Jesse James catch. They literally changed it so that if you dive for the end zone, it is a touchdown. Period. End of story. Right. And they somehow ruled it incomplete. Which makes which no goddamn sense. Under no situa situation was that an incomplete pass. Makes no goddamn sense. They're claiming he didn't survive the ground. Here's the problem. His hand's under the, under the ball the entire time. Even it if you slow it down him. and you zoom in on the play, his hand is under the ball the whole time. The, the ground never causes the ball to move. Now, the ball moves when he flicks the ball up and brings it into his chest like you're taught to do. This decision makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> so you're telling me that players now can't bring the ball in because that moves the ball? This, it changed the whole game. That makes no sense. And here's the thing. Travis Kelsey made it in a near identical catch. Recently. Recently. And it was ruled a touchdown. And not only did he, he and he actually completely dropped the ball. Right, at the end. With the ground. At the end, he did, yeah. Touchdown. Nobody understands it. Are you just guessing, NFL? Like, and then you have, like, former players on Twitter. What like, is going on? Like, Des Bryant, former player, who we all know what happened to Des Bryant with the Cowboys. Saying, like, bro. <laughs> Nobody understands. It's going to go down the ground. Infamy did not move the ball under any circumstance. Nobody understands the NFL's decision in this this call. At best, if you were going to overturn that. Because which they, I don't, you, they you could, could have said he was short of the end zone. And short of the end zone because he lost possession. Whatever. But the ball was still live and he was touched at the half-inch yard line. In which case, Mack would have jumped over the pile and they would have scored anyway. No likelihood. But... What the hell? I know. And by the way, even then, I think it's still a touchdown. I know. But it's a touchdown that they. It's a touchdown. No. It, 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 it. It's a touchdown that they overturned inexplicably, with really no justification. I think they lost the game because of it. That yeah, it's a fourteen-point swing. Yeah. And it cost them the game. Yeah. So that happened. They kick a field goal. 26-23 Patriots. Then the next Vikings drive, we get this ridiculous personal foul call where they claim head and neck uh, hit. He hit him in the back. Yeah, that was Brian. Not only, like, upper center back. And he wasn't leading with his helmet or anything. And he hit him with his shoulder in the upper center back. Right. Again, that's another one where I don't understand what they call Why are you time. throwing a flag there? I don't. I don't know. So that happened. Like, the, you're going to call helmet to helmet on that? Really? Yeah, I don't know. Or a hit to the head on that? On a defenseless receiver? What? That's a stupid... Right after you overturned the touchdown, by the way. Right, yeah, the next play, basically. You, normally, you would do a makeup there, even if you thought it was a penalty. Right. So, that's stupid. Luckily, Uchi gets a sack. They don't do a field goal, but... Awful, awful call. Oh, it gets worse. 26-26. <laughs> Patriots go three and out. They punt. Then the Vikings go three and out, punt, and then dumbass Strange runs into the... Not Strange. Strong. Uh, strong. He needs to get cut and take the Strange was good in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This, this idiot needs to get cut tonight. Oh, he should be cut. off the team. But unfortunately, Harris got hurt, so they can't because he's running back. Yeah, I know. It's such a boneheaded thing to do. <laughs> he runs into the kicker, and he runs into him blatantly. Yeah. Which causes a touchdown. So special teams gifted 14 points tonight. <coughs> Sorry, I lost my voice screaming. I was really pissed at this game. So it's 33-26. Um, 
Vikings. 30. The, yeah, 33. They're in the next drive. Matt gets killed. He gets face masked and completely turned. And, and for some that. reason, that's legal now, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's completely obvious on the replay. Oh, it was obvious that he got face masked. Hell, it looked like Henry got tackled early. Yeah. Well, yeah, it looked that like too. P.I. Right, that too. But it, if, that, you wanna, if you want to say they were tangled up, fine. But the 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 not the no call on Henry gives me flashbacks of all the times when Gronkowski, but, all the times on the team when Gronkowski was on and they didn't call anything against him. But the all those times. But the face mask is not a judgment call. Right. That's an actual. That's a. But the thing with Henry just reminds me of all those times that Gronk was being held on the field and they never I know. called it. But the punt is bad. Need a new punter. Again. Again. Then Kirk Cousins does this ridiculous floaty pass. And John Jones, who, by the way, was awful tonight, absolutely awful, uh, for some reason doesn't look for the ball and look for what would have been an easy pick six. Right. Because Kirk, Kirk Cousins' numbers were good tonight. I actually don't think he was that great. He just has an amazing receiver he on his team. He made some pretty bad throws tonight at times that should have been intercepted. Yeah, he's lucky. Um, this was one of them. He did this twice with this weird lob thing that should have been picked off both times. Um, I mean, it was a good game for Cousins, but I don't think it was as great as the numbers show him. I think he was better in the Buffalo game, personally. So, you know, I mean, he had 300 yards, so obviously it's good by default for the numbers, but... I would not say it was a great game for him. I'd give him like a B, B plus. Um, so then we get the ball back. Punt. We get the ball back, and then we turn it over on downs on a fourth and sixteen, uh, because Aguilar's a freaking moron. I mean, I'm sorry, like Max sets it up for an incredible catch, and he just he, stops running. He throws the ball, and for some reason Aguilar hesitates, and I don't know why he does this. He does this all the goddamn time, right. where he just hesitates on a route. I do not understand. I think they're using him because he's faster. But why don't they use Parker in that use situation? Thornton. Or Thornton, the guys who can go deep and they have a track record of catching the ball. Or Parker. Parker Somebody who can game. catch the ball downfield, whose not last name does not start with an A. <laughs> I just don't understand why Aguilar. Hesitate sometimes. I don't know why they keep trying to make him work. I don't know. Because they paid him all that money and he sucks? Well, he freaking got hurt anyway. He's probably... Who knows? I don't know. He got off. But whatever. The Vikings go three and out. And then the Patriots proceed to do the worst, like, fit, like miracle drive I've ever seen. They just throw it in the middle of the field. And then for some reason the guy slides down like it's a possession catch. What are I you don't doing? Know what he's doing? The game ends. Right. It's not even like the game was <coughs> tied at the end there. I mean, they had a third and one. You just you spike the ball, and then you set up a lateral play. Who cares that it's fourth down? You're going to do laterals anyway. Right. Or you just... No, you got to do a lateral play. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Because you're on your own 20. You can't Hail Mary from back there. Yeah, that's true. So they lose 33-26, uh, largely because of A, special teams, B, poor defense, and C, really bad officiating. The pass, the, the, the pass rush was non-existent. Yeah, today. I don't know what happened to Judon. He's awful tonight. Him and Wise didn't... Uche was the best pass rusher on the team tonight. Wise didn't really do much any of anything either. No, he was terrible. There was no pass rush, basically. <laughs> um, John Jones was awful. And uh, the other thing is, what the hell were you taking away on, on defense? Because it sure as hell wasn't Justin Jefferson. They let him get like 350 he got, he got, yards. He got like 150 yards. Oh, more than that. I don't understand. It was like 200 plus. Look, if you lose the game because Thielen goes off, fine. Under no circumstance should a New England team be letting Justin Jefferson beat them. Right. Under no circumstance. Right. Because you are supposed to take away their number one. Right. Their number one is Justin Jefferson. And that's clear as mud. And they played awful in double coverage. They were terrible in double coverage. Right. And it was technique. Right. It wasn't anything Jefferson was doing. It was bad technique. Yeah. McCourty was out of position constantly the man should have retired in my opinion i don't know what he was doing all night but he was terrible so that was frustrating because it's like what 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 did you what did you think you were going to do on defense i i just I don't jefferson's know. their number one he's an amazing player and they just they clearly planned to take him away but they didn't execute anything right i don't understand how how I know. I don't know. If there was one bright spot... But Tyree Kill they take away. I don't know. If there was one bright spot from this game tonight, the offense actually was okay. I don't get it. 
It's just how could you run those double coverages so amazing against Tyreek Hill to the point where he does nothing against New England? You do the same coverages against Ty against Justin Jefferson, but you run them so poorly, and it was poor technique when you watch the game. McCourty's way out of position constantly know. the whole game. I don't know. What did you practice all week? Now, look, the, the fact that it was a short week of practice showed. It showed drastically. I can tell you that because uh, they were very sloppy. The and defense a, was. And they have a short week again. And now they put themselves in a situation where you have to beat Buffalo. Now the good news is, I think they can beat Buffalo because they found their offense and that was the one thing holding them back. So yeah, they Buffalo is beatable. They are infinitely beatable next week. They have looked very mortal in virtually all of their games this year. They didn't look great against the Lions. No, they didn't. They should have lost that Lions game. But the Lions don't know how to manage the clock, so, so that's what happened. Well, the Lions blew the game at the end. But yeah, they don't. They, they mismanaged the clock at the end of the game. That's what that came down to. So they mismanaged the defense at the end of the game. And the clock. Yeah, but you the should. The clock too. They shouldn't have given they up. They mismanaged the clock bad at the end of that game. Well, you have to kick a field goal when you have fourth down. Yeah, but... I know. They mismanaged the clock and their defense. But, I mean, they lost because they gave up that 50-yard pass to Diggs. Yeah, we can't do that. But, I mean... J.C. Jackson's not on the team anymore. They should be able to handle Diggs in this game yeah, next, next week, Thursday. Yeah, next week, New England, you better take away Stephon Diggs. He, be, he better get, like, they cannot let yards. him. They cannot let him torch the team like he does every year. I, I just... He torches them because they, he would torch J.C. Jackson every single game. No, there's game. just something really frustrating when a New England defense lets the team's number one beat them. The defense has been good up until this point. Well, they weren't good against the uh, Browns. Brown, uh, they uh, lost uh, theirs. The Bears, yeah, for some bonehead. No, I, I, I never know which defense is going to show up. Is it, is it the best defense in the NFL? Because that's what they are at times. They're literally the best defense in the NFL at times. And then other times, they're horrible. Right. And I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it was the short week of practice, but you got that again this week. Right. They've got a weird schedule coming up. So, I don't know. Um, positives. The Matt offense. Jones was good. The offense was good. Offensive line was fantastic. They yeah. did give up a sack at the end of the game, but whatever. They gave up like one sack all game. Yeah, Maybe two. line was good. Line was very good. Yeah, they gave up two. But the game was out of hand by the time the second one happened. And Mac had to hold the ball super long on that play anyway. So, the line was great. Oh, there, but there was one miscommunication that led them to have to do the 4th and 16 to Aguilar. And that was when Trent Brown proceeded to, uh, what the hell did he do? He did something really stupid. Oh, he did a cut block on a drop back for a long, deep shot. Dude, what are you doing? So, of course, the guy just gets up on the cut block and goes and tackles Mac. A cut block is designed when you want to get, you know, an extra second on a short pass. It's not designed for long-term blocking when you need to hold up. So that tells me he doesn't know the play. And this has happened several times this year. At least this time it wasn't Cole Strange, it was on Trent Brown. Cole Strange, to his credit, was an A-plus game today. The line was, was very good. The line was good up until the very end Friends of the Friends was very good. Wenwu was very good. Trent Brown was good apart from that one play. Oh, there were no holding penalties stand on the offensive line. Yeah, that's a plus. Um, who played? Oh, Kajuste. Kajuste was good as well. And so, friends. Yeah, I said friends. Um, basically, uh, let's see, Myers was good. He did get banged up, but he came back in. Um, Stevenson, as always, was pretty Parker good. Parker was good. Hunter Henry had the best game of the year. Yeah. Stevenson was good, yeah. The Harris offense, was good when he was in there. Offense was good. I still don't know why they're not using Thornton. You gotta make better use of him. Um, Could have used him on that deep throw at the end. I thought Marcus Jones was the only special team player that was any decent tonight. Yeah, they were all terrible. Uh, Nick Falk, I guess, was good. But Nick Falk's always good, unless it's like massively windy. Um, honestly, this game was more frustrating than anything because it. It felt like the Patriots should have won the game. Yeah, they had the game in their hands and then the refs just... And the officiating hurt them and the poor defensive play and the poor special teams play hurt them. More games are lost than won and this is the classic example of a game being lost. Yep. And it's frustrating. 
Yep. And now you put yourself in a situation where you have to beat Buffalo. And they only have themselves to blame. If they miss the playoffs, you can go back to this game. Mm. Perfectly winnable game against an opponent you matched up fairly well against. Yeah, they did. So, that schedule doesn't get any easier. No, the end of their, their schedule is ridiculous. So, you know, you might even need to, you might be in a situation where you have to sweep Buffalo now. Yeah. You might be in that situation. I think they play them in Buffalo in January, if I'm correct. I could be wrong, though. You certainly got to beat Miami at home. That No, that's a must win now. That's you got to at prob least that's rip Buffalo. That's probably their hardest game left is Miami. Yeah, I think Miami's the best team in the division. Sorry, I think Miami's a better team than Buffalo this year. Buffalo has flaws that Miami doesn't. I think Tua should be MVP, frankly. They also have the Bengals and the Raiders they got to deal with, too. Bengals are winnable. Raiders are a joke. I think they can beat the Bengals and the Raiders. I think we'll split Buffalo, if I had to guess. And I think we'll beat Miami at home. I can't... I, I can't imagine them going 0-5 against Tua. This is also another time where Bill's lost to an ex-Patriots uh, player. Yeah, it happens all the goddamn time. It's pretty it's funny. so frustrating. They lost to Matt Patricia. Vikings did have a good game plan with their hurry up on third down, to their credit. They actually coached a good game. Yeah, they completely contained our pass rush. Yeah, they, they did a lot of chipping and doubles on Judon. But it's disappointing that nobody else stepped up other than Uche here and there. So, well, next Thursday night in prime time again is going to be Buffalo. So, we'll have to watch another Thursday. Night. And then there's Monday, and then there's Sunday. All five prime time games. Woohoo! We love it as East Coasters. I hate it so much. That was sarcastic. I know. Whatever. I guess we'll go. Um, I mean, for the Vikings, obviously Justin Jefferson had a ridiculous game because we don't know he, how to double he, cover. He 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 passed Randy Moss's record for the most number of yards in like the first three seasons or something. Vikings couldn't run the ball at all. No, I guess. Um, Thielen had a good game. Um, That's about it. I mean, Cousins had a had a good game. I I don't think it was great because he did throw have a few passes that should have been picked off, but I thought it was good. Um, and their line was really. Free. Yeah, the line showed up. The line was really good, which was surprising. Neither, <clears throat> neither defense was very good. I think we should wrap this up before your voice dies. Yeah, it is dying. Whatever. We lose 33 to 26 in a perfectly winnable game. <coughs> Hopefully we can beat Buffalo. Got a lot to work on. Please fix the special teams. Find a punter. And please find your damn pass rush for Josh Allen, please. Yeah, if they don't, they've got no hope. And keep doing what you're doing on offense, because you finally figured some shit out. In NFL, fix your catch rule, please. All right, Mr. Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week, I guess. Well, next Thursday. Next Thursday, yep. Yeah. Well, I guess Wednesday for the preview. Yay. Take care.